In his four years as President of America, Donald Trump has never struggled for airtime. Channels have always loved his no-holds-barred press conferences. But that changed on Thursday. Major American networks cut away from the President while he was speaking. They have simple explanation for it. They say the President was lying. I easily win. It's the unwritten rule of the American media. When the president speaks, you listen. But Donald Trump has not been a conventional president. His words have divided not just the public, but also American media houses. Thursday, November the 5th. More than 48 hours past election day. Donald Trump walks into the White House Thank briefing room. Thank you. His messaging is along expected lines. If you count the legal votes, I easily win. If you count the illegal votes, they can try to steal the election from us. There have been a number of disturbing irregularities across the nation. Are Stan Grant for this marathon coverage? This went on for 17 minutes. Welcome back to. But many networks lost patience. And we have to interrupt here because the president has uh, made a number of. Uh, false Within minutes, they cut away from the president's speech. Okay, here we are again in the unusual position of not only interrupting the President of the United States, but correcting the President of the United States. What followed was an exhaustive fact-checking session. Now tens of millions of unsolicited ballots without... Most channels, including Trump's ally Fox News, disputed his claims. What the President of the United States is saying, in large part, is absolutely untrue. Some Republican leaders, too, demanded evidence. And the Trump campaign is yet to provide any. And, and we have to interrupt here because the president has... Uh, if the American media hates states. Trump, rest assured, the feeling is mutual. Without tens of millions of unsolicited ballots without any... Fake news, fake media. Fake news has been Trump's slogan for the last four years. Fake news, which CNN does a lot. He has accused the media of backing Joe Biden, a claim he repeated on Thursday. As everyone now recognizes, media polling was election interference in the truest sense of that word by powerful special interests. These really phony polls, I have to call them phony polls, fake polls, were designed to keep our voters at home, create the illusion of momentum for Mr. Biden and diminish Republicans' ability to raise funds. In the media and the fake media, they make up stories. Trump's they speeches no are tricky to cover. Cases, he regularly peppers them no with falsehoods, often forcing report. channels to censor his comments. But Trump's falsehoods are also consequential. After all, he occupies the most powerful office in the world. The American media has clearly taken sides in this election. The question is, is this bias a reflection of Trump's divisiveness or the new normal of American journalism? Bureau Report, Vion, World is One. Co-presented by Skoda. Simply clever.